Hello, this is Doctor and Master Rulin. Congratulations to coming to the second class of Divine Love Course. On the second, on the first class, we have learned one of the most profound wisdom Divine have ever released to humanity. This secret is: each one of us are loved, ultimately, unconditionally, endlessly, and infinitely by Divine. The mantra divine released to us is, "I am the inheritor of the whole cosmos. I am loved, protected, and supported by the whole cosmos." Just hearing this mantra will transform your life beyond your comprehension, and by truly practice this mantra, and it will bring unlimited blessing. And bring the whole cosmos at your hand for your manifestation. So I want to congratulate you for having do the homework last week, and every one of you, I see tremendous transformation in your life. So thank you for doing this work. Thank you for doing your homework. And this work you are doing is not only going to transform you. You are transforming the whole humanity, your whole ancestors, your whole lineage. This is very important service you are doing for yourself, for your ancestors, for your heavens team, and for all humanity. So I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this work. And also, I want to express my deepest gratitude to you. Because your presence has made this course possible, this course has saved my life. It has saved my spiritual journey, and I know it has saved many of yours' life and your spiritual journey as well. So I want to express my deepest gratitude to you for saving my life and saving my spiritual journey. So the second class, we have learned another most powerful teaching and a practice. This is so divine teaches us in the second class how to experience divine love, how to receive divine love, and how to live in divine love. So divine tells us. To know the divine love, or to experience divine love, is to simply see the sacredness and divinity in that thing. So, divine tell us one of the most profound wisdom is that the love is the thread divine used to create everything. So, love is in everything and everyone. Every moment, there's nothing in this world is not His love. And to see His love is to see the sacredness in everything and everyone, every moment. And to experience His love is to see the sacredness and divinity in that thing. And to receive His love. Is to see the sacredness and to feel and enjoy the sacredness in that thing and that love and that one, and to live in His love is to see and feel and enjoy the sacredness and divinity in everything, everyone, every moment, without any resistance. And divine give us this most powerful order to transform, to order every cell, every DNA, RNA, every molecules, and every organs and systems in our body to see, feel. And enjoy the sacredness in everything and everyone, every moment. 
This order is so huge. I literally see our DNA, RNA, every part of our cells is transformed. The light has brought in is infinite. And forever we have been transformed. Forever humanity has been transformed. It is truly beyond our comprehension. And my body was shaking so much. I have never seen my DNA has transformed in such profound level. And my body has been transformed in such profound level. It is literally bring the Tao and divine into ourselves. Because the Tao and the divine creates everything and everyone. So from the point of view of Tao, everyone and everything is Tao. Everything, everyone is divine and secret. So by we step into seeing everyone, everything is divine and Tao, we step into the divine and Tao. So when you become Buddha, Buddha see everyone as a Buddha. Buddha don't see you are good and you're bad. No, Buddha see everyone as a Buddha. And Tao see everyone as the Tao. And divine see everyone as divine. So by we step into seeing and feeling and enjoying everyone and everything as divine and Tao, we step into divine and Tao. So this practice is basically directly goes to divine and Tao. Just go into it. Don't push it around, walking around. Just go directly into it. So this practice is so profound, but so simple. It's, of course, it's very difficult. You know, we all have mindsets. We all have, this is not good, and that is not good, and this is so good, with this we so, so much we want it, and that one we so don't want to avoid it. We all have that. And it's sometimes so di difficult to see the sacredness and divinity in something. But that's okay. And honoring that difficulty. And that is secret as well. That is something for you to experience the, the challenge to feel the sacredness and divinity. So use tools and just keep working on it. Because your journey, you know, being have the difficulty to step into divine Tao, maybe can help more people in the future to step into divine Tao. So have, when you see the feel the difficulties and see the sacredness and divinity in that difficulties as well. So I want to give you a blessing. Please do the homework. And so every, every moment, every to see and feel and enjoy the sacredness and divinity. So just keep doing this work. Keep doing it. Keep, keep reminding yourself. As soon as you remind yourself, I see tremendous light comes to you because you are stepping into the Tao and you are stepping into divine. And I feel after our blessing, my whole world changed. So much light and so much bliss you know, the bliss was increased infinitely. And the joy and the beauty I can feel in everything, everyone, is so much enhanced. The light come to me and the light I see everything is like it increased so much. My body actually is still going through tremendous, tremendous transformation. And I see that for every one of you. So we are so blessed. We are so, so, so blessed. And I want to thank you again for you doing this work. For so every day, step into seeing the divinity and seeing the sacredness in everything. And every moment, tell yourself how much you are loved, how much you are protected and supported. And every Universe, all the universe, 
or every divine is supporting you and loving you. And go deeper into that. Go deeper into your own sacredness and divinity. And deeply appreciate and enjoy your own sacredness and divinity. Whether it is sadness, whether it is you feel irritated, whatever that is, it is sacred and divine. So go into and ex- enjoy it and fully embrace it. Because only we fully appreciate and embrace it, we move forward and we step into the divine. And we learn the lesson for that experience and we go deeper into the divine. So please keep doing this homework every moment to feel how much you are loved, how you are supported and protected and see and feel the divinity and enjoy the divinity divinity in everyone, every moment and in everything. So I love you so much. I'm so grateful for you, for you to be here with me. And I'm looking forward to go deeper and deeper and on this journey with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing this amazing blessing to me. I'm so deeply feel and appreciate and grateful for your sacredness and divinity. Thank you for being in my life. Looking forward to sharing more next week with you. Love you.